today I'm going to go over how to add makeup in Adobe Photoshop to a photo. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a photo portrait of someone and uh, a couple techniques here. First you want to click the create new layer icon on the bottom of the layers palette here. If you don't see that go to window layers, pull it up. I'm going to press control plus or on the Mac you can do command plus, zoom in. What we're going to do is click the brush tool and click up here and you want to choose a soft edge brush. Basically the soft edge brush brings the hardness down to 0% on the left hand side. And the size you can adjust, but as you're painting you can also press the left and right bracket on the keyboard to resize it as well. We're just going to select the foreground color next and choose some kind of color that you want to do in there. Um, so I'll do something like that, I don't know. And you're just going to paint some hue in. It doesn't look right right away. We'll fix it in a second. Um, I'm not a makeup, ep makeup expert, so I think it goes on something like that. If that's overdone, I can always erase it or mask it out, and I'll show you how to do that next. Alright, so something like that. That's probably a little bit much, but... So once you have it in there, go ahead and change the layer blending mode, and you can experiment with the different ones. You know, if you go to uh, darken, multiply, color burn, you can see the different effects there. Uh, screen, uh, let's see, overlay is a good one, and you can try all those out. Color's a little bit bright. So if you go back up to overlay, that's probably the best one for this example. Uh, you can adjust the opacity if it's a little strong. So click opacity here and bring that down a little bit, and you can see it's more subtle. And if it you kind of went overboard on the side there, you can also erase it if you just click the erase there. Or you can mask it out, which is probably better. Go ahead and click the mask, this uh, add layer mask layer icon on the bottom layers palette. And then you just want to paint black in. Make sure this white box is selected. And you can paint black in there, and that will erase some of the edge. And if you erase too much, for example, if I went over this far, you can just set the foreground to white and it'll bring back those pixels, unlike the erase where you can't do that, right? So I'll paint a couple, a little bit more black here on the edge because you don't want it right there on the hair there. Okay, so you have that so far. I think that looks okay. You can adjust with the fill and the opacity. If you think it's still too strong, you can bring it down just a little bit, something like that. All right. And next, um, to make it even a little bit more subtle, you can also click the blur tool and blur the edges just a little bit, making sure you have these actual pixels selected, not the mask, but the actual pixels here. And you can just click there. It gives it a little bit more of a more blurred edge to it, so it kind of segues a little bit better with the layer below it. Alright, you can also use that for uh, lipstick and I guess it's called blush, the stuff uh, that goes on the cheeks, and of course eyeshadow. So what I like to do is uh, click create a new layer, choose a new hue, for the lips we'll do red, and go ahead and zoom in and if you have an a edge like this what you'll have to do is use some kind of selection tool to select uh, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't need to go all the way around like this but at least that edge so I'll just go around like that so when I brush it in, I don't get that finger, all right? So I'll make it smaller, bring it in something like that. And here I can just go along the edge without having to have the selection because I can resize the brush. So you go right along the lips there. All right, make it a larger brush. And of course, it, it doesn't look right until we go and adjust the blending mode, right? So that's a little bit bright, so you bring the overlay down, I mean the opacity, but I set it to overlay. 
and you can see the before and after by clicking the eye icon. That's still a little bit strong, so bring it down more. And then also the eyes, again, you can bring that down if you think it needs to be more subtle, something like that. And then for on the cheeks, what you want to do is make a very large brush, still with a 0% hardness. Uh, and instead of clicking and dragging, you just click once. So I'm going to create a new icon, I mean create a new layer. And uh, I don't know what color would be good, maybe uh, let's do orangish, whatever. And I'm just going to click and let go, click and let go. And then again, you change the blending mode. For this example, let's try overlay, bring the opacity down. So it's meant to be a little bit more subtle. So opacity way down on that one. All right. So that's how you add makeup after the fact in Adobe Photoshop by creating new layers and then brushing on new hues and then adjusting the layer blending mode of each. Thank you.